Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have something called the Single Cast Series from The Whistler. The Whistler belongs to Bowen Distillery, which is fabulous. I had the chance to visit them in um, June. Beautiful, beautiful distillery. Just about 35, 40 minutes outside of Dublin. Great place to go, great place to see what's happening in the future here of Irish whiskey in general. All right, so what we have here is whiskey base number 199099. So this is a single cask, the 618 bottles in cask strength, which in this case means 60.65% ABV. And we also have here a Oloroso Sherry Butt from Jerez in Spain. So cast number 1,112. So 700 milliliters. I paid 49 euros um, for this on sale. And normal price is 65 euros. And a few of these bottles are still available. Where, you ask? Well, it's going to be an, uh, an online shop in the Netherlands. To be exact, it's called www.drankdozine. D-R-A-N-K. D O Z I J N. So you'll see this actually at the bottom here. Let's see if I can focus this in there a little bit. There we go. So drank Duzine. And um, they celebrated their 10th anniversary and they have four different bottlings. This from Oloroso. This is a um, Bordeaux wine cask, nine years old. This is five. They have a um, Moscatel cask, which I'm really looking forward to, and they also have here a nine-year-old that was finished in a Mazala cask. So, now you ask yourself, Jason, where is the comparison whiskey? You almost always have one. Well, don't worry, I do. I have from the Whistler, this was my, and this is still my favorite bottle, uh, the Bowen Distillery ever, ever produced. It's called the seven-year-old natural strength, natural cast strength single malt. Now, I did not know that I had batch number six. So it says here number 060632. It is not a single cask, it's a batch product. I did find out that I had had originally batch one. I found batch two online where three, four, and five ended up at, I have no idea. But this is 59%. Now this whiskey is actually matured um, in uh, bourbon, ex-bourbon casks, and then finished in Oloroso. This is matured for its entire five years. This has a couple months. I don't know if it's six months or 12 months or whatever, but um, this is absolutely gorgeous whiskey. I don't know if I ever made it to the States or any place else. I adore it. I love it. I think this is fabulous. I've gone through a couple bottles myself, and I've shared a couple other bottles. This is something I'm I have one or two bottles still stashed away and I am looking forward to enjoying them. I opened this bottle up today and I was actually teleported back to the last time I drank it. I had bought a bottle on the island of Elgoland in the North Sea. It's one of those free trade zone types of areas that you can actually have. Um, uh, so it used to be called, before it was travel retail, it was a um, duty free shop. It's actually on the high seas of the North Sea, and it's a duty-free place. So you can always go there, buy two bottles, um, two liters of whiskey, and bring them back on duty-free, which is really, really kind of nice. And I bought a bottle of the, um, the last time the Whistler opened up there. was just, it's so good. All right, so the, I love this. this. This is a little bit of a mixture. Have you ever had the dime, that little piece in that middle that I'm going to call it pre peanut brittle type of thing? It's almost like a peanut brittle with a tiny little bit of leather involved here. I just love this sherry influenced um, Irish single malt whiskey here. This is this is so good. This is a B plus in my book. Um, 59% perfectly made wonderful whiskey. Not an A, but a B plus. I really, really, really like this. So anything else the Whistler puts out is going to be a little bit more of a difficulty. Now this, on the other hand, this was in Spanish oak for five years. This is a really interesting one. This is a single cask. Um, this is 60.65%. It is triple distilled. It spent its entire life in a ex 
Oloroso sherry cask from um, made out of Spanish oak from the Jerez in Spain. Um, is it first fill? Probably not. Is it maybe a real sherry butt and not a seasoned cask? Possibly. So five years is not the longest time. Natural color, non-chilled filter. They're doing everything right. Um, price sixty-two ninety-five. Also, you can't can't argue about that for a single cask in this cask strength. But what I get on this is I get a lot of mocha, a lot of espresso, a lot of the. Um, have you ever had tiramisu, that Italian dessert dish? And the, for some people put that um, coffee powder on it. That's what I get. Now. There's a little tiny secret that many of you know, but some of you don't. I dislike coffee. You know that mo you wake up in the morning and you smell the fresh brewed coffee and uh, f the feeling in my heart is 95% of all of the people in all the world go, oh yeah. I belong to the 5% with like, e yucky, no. So I remember walking down the mall 80s and there would be a coffee shop where they did the freshly ground coffee beans I would literally walk on the other side of the mall not to smell that all right that's I dislike I detest coffee all right it's just something I can't get past my nose nor past my lips tried it quite a not a quite I've tried it a few times in my life and each and every time it's the moment of gagging and spitting it out not my thing all right. Oh, by the way, I don't like beer either, which makes it very difficult in Germany sometimes. But that's not the thing here. I'm getting that coffee powder moment here. That mocha, that espresso, that um, the Glen Morangi Signet moment. Have you ever had that? That darkly, there's a part of that barley that is actually very, very dark chocolate, dark malted with um, malt there. Um, this is goes in that direction. Some people call it more of a nutty nougat moment. So think of nougat and a little bit of that coffee powder involved in there. There are going to be people out there that should go wild about this bottle. And this is going to be my question of the day. What whiskey besides the Glenmorangi uh, Signet can you actually recommend that has that coffee mocha espresso um, cappuccino moment going on? For me, it's this. The people I've read online, it's, they totally agree. There's a um, nougat coffee dark chocolate moment going on here. Is it from the Spanish oak? Maybe. Is it from that cask? Definitely. Where does this whiskey come from? It's triple distilled. It could be Cooley. It could be West Cork. It could be Middleton. It could be Bushmills. Five-year-old? Don't think so. Um, they themselves have not released their own whiskey yet. They're still waiting. I think they've actually reached the three-year-old point where they could have their own whiskey. They're going to wait um, a few more years or a year or so and then release their own whiskey then. Um, Bowen is doing great things. They're all, they work together. They have a good distill. They have a good distilling team. Um, they're doing a lot of those um, old mash bills that were actually um, non-conform, GI conform, and trying to change the rules of the Irish government with their um, legislation also for the European Union to redefine what single pot still whiskey is. Then there has to be more than just that 5% of other grains in there. There are some recipes out there with 50% oats and 50% um, malted barley. So, And the 60.6% .6 is a doozy, to say the least. The 59%, yum. The 60.65%, .6 I f am just too weak for it. So I'm going to nip on it and then put some water in and give my um, evaluation here. Interesting nose. A tiny little bit of green ha hazelnuts I get. And then that nougat and then that coffee moment going on there. And maybe even a dark, dark, high cacao type of chocolate, like the 80%. This whiskey kicks my butt. 
The alcohol is 60.6% is just too strong for me. I'm too weak. The five year and the 60.65% just, it burns. And norm at 59%, no problem. I'm gonna drink this and switch it around and enjoy it. The 60.65% is just a whole different monster. So what I have to do is I get to dilute this down and we're not talking about three drops, we're talking about dilution. So I'm gonna take it down to about 53, 52% and try this again and see what I get. Now, the finish is there, but then it tapers off. The alcohol remi remains a little bit longer than actually the finish does. So now I'm gonna take a real swish of this and give you my tasting notes. Hmm. different than what I expected. I've had a lot of Irish whiskey in sherry casks. I've had a lot of Oloroso sherry casks, but I haven't had, at least I can't remember, a Irish whiskey triple distilled with such a coffee mocha espresso moment going on here. There's even a tiny little bit, I don't know if you ever like a, like a, a Boy Scout, Girl Scout, Cub Scout, Eagle Scout, I don't know what you were, and you made this like a bread dough that you put on a stick and held it over the campfire you made then campfire bread um, that dough um, is what I'm getting here as well it's a doughiness it's almost a cookie dough but it's more of a bread type of dough that's going on here um, it's a little there's some spiciness there's that chocolate going on there um, it's a very interesting whiskey. The problem for me is I don't like coffee. And as I don't like coffee, I'm not a particular fan of this whiskey. So I'm going to give this whiskey a C minus. Now I know other people out there that love, for example, the Signet. I don't. Um, they would actually enjoy this a lot. So if you can name another whiskey besides the Signet from Glen Morangi that goes in that mocha espresso coffee moment, um, whatever, if you like that, you might actually like this. There are bottles available. They do send all over Europe. They might even send to the States. I don't know. I've never had uh, Drang Duzin send anything to the States before, but um, this is a, I, as I said, 49 euros that I paid. I'd give this actually a solid C for value for money. The price now was 62.95. The standard price, it was on sale because of a I don't know. It was just it was a weekly sale. They just put things on sale all the time there. Um, I would give it actually a C minus for 62 um, 50 basically. It is only a five year old whiskey. It is 60.65% um, ABV, which is a lot. Now, this bottle. If you see a bottle of this under 60 euros, buy it. If you see a bottle under 80 euros, think about buying it. I adore this whiskey. All right, so 59%. I have batch six. If you can find batch one, I thought it was even a tiny little bit better, but hey, they're almost the same. The nose, the palate. Hmm. aftertaste. Well, this is a whiskey that I would give a B plus to. I enjoy this whiskey thoroughly. Bowen Distillery, thank you very much for the seven-year-old natural strength. Bowen Distillery, thank you very much for that um, single cast collection that I'll be doing now, those four different things. Thank you for having those interesting cast finishes. Thank you for allowing me to visit your distillery and also see um, and um, how the casks were filled and then palletized and then sent off then to the warehouse. It's really, really great what Bowen's doing there. Mm. Very good stuff. Different, not my cup of tea, cup of coffee, ha ha ha, but good stuff. All right, thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, telling others, and don't forget the question of the day was, what other whiskey has a very definite coffee moment going on here? Ta-da! This single barrel does for me. See you soon. Whiskey Jason. All the best. Bye-bye.